heroes. Happy Thursday. We're here for more shenanigans. Shenanigans. Um, welcome to Error. Uh, anybody lurking? Anybody just coming in? How's it going? Uh, let's get Shadows Over Loathing sound effects. Uh, previously, we tickled the tentacle. <laughs> That's it. That's all we did. That's all you missed. We tickled the tentacle. Um, no, we... What is this? Oh, no. It's a briefcase full of meat. No, it reads, Leroy, congratu... Congratulifications on your successful shakedown. You will be contactinated with another request in due timeliness. DT. I hate reading his shit. I hate it. Let's see how much meat did we get. Four to meat, nice. We were broke as shit, so that will help considerably. Um, previously, we... I don't know what we did. I don't. I, I know it was just yesterday, but I already don't remember. Oh yeah, we... Solve the mystery of the witch trials, essentially. It's Turt's day! Do you think Turt will do a takedown because it's Turt's day? Uh, we gotta call the mob back again. I'm not reading, I'm not reading, I'm not reading it. I can't. It's not English. Um, upon auditorially processing the alert bell from this telephonic device, I have answered it. Come on, Don. Dial it back a notch. As it is you who have dialed my number, I do not entirely understand this request, Mr. Chance. Um, your observation here. I'll, I'll translate. Your observations have reported. No, our observation observers. Our observers have reported that you have or will soon become operational with Porkum. And the locus of education known as SIT. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, is this another shakedown? I'm not going to put the screws on an entire university for you. That will not be necessary. We are not in a competitive, competitive relationship with the, with the school. The specific task we require you to do is sense, uh, sensitive to communicate over a telephone. Uh, proceed to Fish and Chips, where we will meet you with one of our operatives who goes by Greasy Steve. Oh my god, first we had Creamy- was it Creamy Steve? Now we got Greasy Steve? Hold on. Was it Creamy? It was. It was Creamy Steve, now we got Greasy Steve. It's actually probably his brother. Um... But, but crime doesn't pay. It absolutely does. It pays big doubloons. Um, or big stakes in this case. The tyrant Mira de Morte is filtering the content news, refusing to tell chat what's really being said, controlling the narrative. Absolutely. I'm censoring. I'm contradicting. Um, okay. So we gotta go to Fish and Chips, which is on campus. Yeah, I'll get some pollen. Sure, why not? Thank you. Um, oh, the pencil guy. Um, is it this guy? Oh my god, the guy stuffing his face is greasy, Steve. Made in a really slick suit, described as such because it is both expensive and covered in grease, is stuffing his face. This has got to be Greasy Steve. Let's talk to him. I like how you didn't phrase it as a question. You're a cool customer, kid. I get what Donnie Thesaurus sees in you. Is that what DT stands for? Donnie Thesaurus? That makes sense. Put her here. He wipes his hand on his lapel and offers you a handshake. You take it with a grimace as your hand immediately slides out of his grip. Gross. Here's the deal. We got some what you might call dirty meat, see? And we gotta get it laundered. Meat laundering? I don't know much about that. It's easy. The only trick is you gotta find a way into Sit's laundry room to do it. Sit's laundry room? Bag of dirty meat. Bag of ill-gotten gains. Yeah, on account of the... It's... 
a steam laundry, and only steam laundry is going to be powerful enough to clean this particularly dirty meat. I think we can get in there from the sewers. Moist, squelchy noises shaking his hand. Gross. But Oh my god. I think... I don't know if I dislike Creamy Steve or Greasy Steve more. They're both pretty gross, to be honest. Um... Anyway, get that cleaned up, bring it back here, you'll get your payment, all right? Let's do some mob business. I'm gonna go to Rufus's lab, because I think that'll be the quickest way down to the basement. Yeah, we'll fight. I'll fucking fight ya. My boys need the XP. Ouchie. Thanks, turd. I can take them all out. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. I came close. I came real close. Um. Oh my god, that one's gonna attack Tart. Let's take this one out, because he's gonna increase stats. Can't have that. Creamy Steve is more sexual than Greasy Steve. Now, is that a good thing? No. No, I don't think it is. Turtle coming in. Er, turtle. Spider coming in for the kill. Ugh. God, I hate the way they move. Nice. Real somebody, Turt. Anybody. Well, I guess I don't really need to do that. I can just kill him. Today. We did it. I wonder how many XP I have now. Okay. Um, greenhouse access laundry room. Here we go. Oops. Hey, Charles. Welcome. Hello, hello. Little is telling hello. Was calculating how many panties could fit in the sun because of a question in Luckless's Discord. Well, don't leave us hanging, Charles. How many pennies is it? Launder the meat. You don't want to look at the filth, the gross, filthy meat again. So you just throw the whole thing in the machine and start the wash cycle. Wait. You wait. The machine continues to launder the meat. Keep waiting. You continue waiting. Keep waiting. Uh, you continue waiting. You don't know how much longer you can take this. Keep waiting. You continue waiting. It's very boring. Keep waiting. You continue waiting. You're beginning to run short on patience. Keep waiting. You twiddle your thumbs for a while. Keep waiting. Uh, you don't know how much longer you can take this. It's like watching paint dry, but less interesting. It's like watching grass grow, but there's no breeze. You twiddle your thumbs. You watch the meat spin around for a while, but it makes you dizzy. It's quite boring. You take advantage of the fact that you can pass an ar at an arbitrary rate. Pass time. Time can pass, rather, at an arbitrary rate. Jesus. Julie, welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, 2.25 times 10 to the 18th. That's quite a few. That's a few. Full answer is the maximum packing efficiency of a circular coin is about 78.6%. The volumes of pennies is about 0.31 milliliters. The volume of the sun is that. So you can get that many in the sun. Is that calculated based on, like, all the pennies are stacked perfectly? like purposefully put or like shaken about finally um we get super lost in the tunnels uh the two oh well, wait, wait a minute wait a minute you appear to have ended up in a lair of feral vampires. Let me tell you, my friend, they are not happy to see you. Two of them are crouched down on all fours, snarling and spitting. The third guy's howling and just totally gushing blood out of his eye sockets. Nice. Oh, wow, they weren't kidding. Literally weren't kidding. Ah! 
Okay, so the maximum packing push is with them stacked. Okay, okay, okay. That would take a lot more work than just chucking them in there, yeah? I'm going to do this just because uh, I'm pretty much very on fire. Even though I think I should be able to kill them. Maybe not. I'm gonna take him. He scares me. If they're random, it drops to a packing fish to about 60%. That's not as big of a drop as I would have expected. Honestly. Here's your dirty meat, Greasy Steve. You glance around to make sure nobody's watching and you slide the stack of freshly laundered meat across the table. Greasy Steve opens the stack and glances inside. Nice job, kid, here's your payment. Picks up a briefcase and empties the sack into it and slides the briefcase back to you. <laughs> oh my God, seriously? He shrugs and goes back to stuffing his face. All right, thanks, buddy. How much meat was in it? Nice. We needed meat, so. 10 out of 10. Um, let me quickly, do we have enough? 194. Let's do this one. Nice. Cool. Count, that count drops to 1.71. Okay, that, that's a little bit more considerable, I guess. What am I doing? I need to pass chemistry. Oh, God. Um, Floyd wa at Fish and Chips want you to, wants you to find him some barbecue sauce. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Three pounds of fish. Yeah. Maybe I just go back to the sewers. Help out Rufus. I'm really invested in Rufus's storyline, not gonna lie. I also don't know how to pass my chemistry class, so we just gotta look for vents. I think we did one in here, yeah. Wait, did we get eggs out of that situation though? I think we just killed them. Huh, we can't go through that anymore, so. Yes, we're done. Do we have enough eggs, maybe? I feel like then it would tell me to take them back to him. No manholes in that one. Wait, what if that's barbecue wing maintenance access? Where the fuck's all the barbecue sauce? I need barbecue sauce for that poor boy. That's the laundry room. If I'm not mistaken, it would be written out as, yeah, it's like a lot, it's a lot of zeros. It's, um, a considerable amount of zeros. All right, well, we went full circle and that wasn't. Maybe we have to go around different parts of the school? What? Uh, hey, have, haven't you been buying your textbooks new? You haven't been ha buying your textbooks new, have you? I told you it was a scam. Buy used, buy used. Speaking of, can I tempt you? Textbook should be painted sky blue clouds on it because it's way over your head. Deal. <laughs> 45900 Applied Scholastic Ethics. Perfect. Can't wait to read it. Mm. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for some fucking... In the culinary science room, maybe? I need barbecue! Mm. 18 of them, even. Yeah, maybe just a couple, you know. Could be valuable. Could 
be valuable later. Never know. Is there some in the gift shop? Um, I'm gonna ask the library what to do for chemistry because I do not remember. Oh yeah, no, that's right. It was something super complicated. Um, the chemicals, the chemistry professor. Uh, he said something. Like, I had to go get something. What am I supposed to be doing? Polish for chrome. That's right, chrome polish. But I was out of arsenic. First two hoppers are empty. Oh, yes. I think we already did this. Maybe not. We're gonna go to Hilbert House and find arsenic. That's where it is. Hilbert House. We haven't even been here yet. Oh. Hey, robot, turn that steam off. I'm just gonna walk through the steam like a badass. Milkshake? I'm jealous. Oh, yes. I remember this now. We were here, but we didn't complete whatever was here. One of these rooms has arsenic. And a lot of these rooms have fucking Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Man, she really went ham on that middle guy. Oh! Poor Turk. I remember these guys being tough as fuck, so let's see if that stands. It would appear to be true. So. How did this guy get hot? Well, now he's hot and poisoned. Everyone lived. That's how we do it. Nothing in this room. Cool. Is Hilbert uh, house built in Hilbert space? Math joke. I gotta say that one probably missed me. Brick end find. Brick find in end? End in brick find? Um. Oh yes, bed bugs. Seven moxie. We do moxie. Um. Maybe? Yeah. Got a wallet, baby. Put this back on. Um. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm trying to... I had the build so that I would make, like, a fuck ton of money was the idea. I don't think we need that right now so much as we need to be strong. So, let's see. The weapon that we're using uses mysticality, so let's up mysticality as much as possible. Actually, I think this might do better. I don't know if this is technically a magic. I guess that's a magical weapon. Um, as for pants, mysticality pants. Jin, welcome! Hello, hello! How are you? How's it going? Oh, wait. We never opened our wallet. Nice. Um. Yay, the arsenic! Uh, oh good, there's nearly a whole jar of arsenic left in Blevins' nightstand. At least you assume this is Blevins' room and not some other chemical student who's super into arsenic for some reason. We still got more rooms to explore though, how exciting. Muscle, huh? That just made my build better. Um, we need to up it by two. One controversial game that we all know the name of. Are you enjoying it? Actually, maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. We'll leave it at that. I'm glad you're doing well, though. Uh, fight him. Did you find any old lace with the arsenic? Old black and white movie reference. Now you're definitely gonna miss me with that one, Charles. God, I don't think... I don't think I could even name a black and white movie that I've seen. If I remember right, yeah, this bitch raises stats, so that is not good. She's gonna have, let's see, three, three, two more times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't math in my head. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna hit for enough. Oh, I might. Oops, that ended my turn though, I'm an idiot. Cool, we're gonna die. We are absolutely dead. Oh, I fucked up. Hey, broken princess, welcome, hello, hello. Oh boy. Bad move, but he was gonna kill her. <laughs> and I, this guy's trying to do something he can't do, and I don't know what that means, but he's gonna buy me some time. I cannot believe that we managed to live through that. Oh my god. Here. I'm gonna keep going up until I can't anymore. 
Watch it just be infinite. Pretty fancy nightstand. Nice. I'll wall it again. Oh my god. Oh shit, we need eight this time. Bone soda. Fuck. And the piece de resistance. My hat. Steer mope. Psycho was black and white. I do not remember that. Let's fight him. Better than goblins, maybe. Oh, harder than goblins. Okay, it's fine. Wow, okay. Really, Chart? You couldn't fix that? Hannibal Lecter. No, Psycho was not Hannibal Lecter. Never mind. Don't listen. Oh my god, that didn't even kill it? Fuck. How many poison counters are on this girl? <laughs> Maximum. Maximum poison. Oh my god, Turt. Live, Turt! Oh my god. How? about serial killers. I am concentrating. Not today you don't. That's weird. Why isn't the sound alert playing? The hell sound alerts. Hold on. Let's investigate. That's weird. Why is it broken? He is coming. There we go. Cover your butt. There you go. Fixed it. Fixed it. Hopefully you guys could hear it. <sighs> Noise. Turd even leveled up. Yay, they work. <laughs> I heard it very well. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
Um, were we already in this one? No. Ew, a festulant gulch. It's my least favorite thing to pick up. Okay, let's find some robots. That one was quite loud. I, uh, I made it a new sound source on its own. So we, we can, uh, we can adjust it now on its own. Titty. <laughs> that one's still gonna be quiet. <laughs> That one has it's like at its maximum. Which sucks. Thank you for the titty drilling. Also, thank you, uh, Air for the sound buddies and Broken Princess. Thank you for the sound buddies. How's it going, Drilly? Coming in with the titty. All right, let's see, which one of these big boys is the worst? Oh boy. Oh. Can Molly take 17? Yeah, she can. I think it's gonna have to be this one because I cannot afford to lose AP. Nuggies. The spider is living through it. Just some robots. Okay. Ooh, mac and cheese. Man, you guys are making me hungry. I mean, can I just keep fighting? Look, I've already collected so many wallets. I can buy the world. I think, I think we just keep making our way through the house. I think it's getting progressively harder though. A little bit worried about that. Raising all enemy stats by two? Fuck. Okay. We go until I lose, how about that? tell you you can always keep fighting it's true it's true okay gotta get rid of the gnarly spider and even then i don't think we can do it we only do 19 cold damage shit let's kill this globule then Spider attack something that isn't immune to poison. The fuck? Oh. Molly, I'm gonna need you to club this thing in the kneecaps. Everybody's fine. Nope, Molly's dead. It's too late. She's done for. I say we just keep climbing this house until I die. It's a challenge now. Repair it? What good would that do? I'm gonna do it anyway, though. We need nine mysticality, huh? 
shit. Um, I don't think we can do it without eating something, and I don't want to eat something. We won't be fixing the radio. How much did we eat? Nine? You know what we could do? Probably don't have enough. We won 174! More wallets. Top drawer! A family of millipedes appears to have constructed a nest out of some chewed up adult magazines. I'll leave it to you to imagine what that looks like. Great. Robots. Let's see, we should probably be smarter about this. Jesus. Half my health. Thank God, Turt. Gonna charge up its coils. I think I'm gonna take this dude down because he's gonna box me in the face again. Oh, but that dude. Mm. Do I have something that could do one damage? Oh, you know what? At one point I tried to get dirty water and it told me no. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use it on this one. And then I'm gonna take my ice cream scoop and hit this dude. Yeah. Ah, uh, I had way too many tater tots for lunch. No dinner for me. Aww. They were plain and poutine tots. Oh my god, poutine tots sounds like the most amazing thing ever. Oh, yum. I want poutine tots. Thanks, Turt. <laughs> Do it. Dunzo. Oh my god, Turt is leveling up left and right, guys. It's Turt time. I love that we've just kept the same pet this entire time. Oh my god, how high does it go? Eight. Nine. Ten. Somebody please look, look, look up if this is infinite. Is this infinite? I'll fucking do it. I'll do every goddamn floor. I will do it. Whoa. I did not have 26. Uh... I do not have 26 mysticality. Maybe I won't do it. 
It must get progressively harder the higher you go. You could just not fight anything. And just search for wallets. What the fuck? This room got goes up to at least 200. Damn. All right. I will not be doing that. This would be a great way to grind though, honestly. Oh, what's under the bed? 15 meat, fuck yeah. Some chemicals, what is going on with the sink? Ugh. Not the math. I don't want to fight math. Money, 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 money. I bet if you just tried to fight your way upstairs, you could become infinite. Nuggies and mac and cheese. Balanced diet. It's a good brag time, Bob. Still been caught in our chill. Wait, what was up with the sink? Aha. Uh -huh. Crusty flakes. Vampires living their best life. I'ma let them I'ma let them live their best life. So it seems like every second, every like B. Okay, A is always a fight, B is not a fight, C is not a fight, but we do not have the armor. Ant farm. <laughs> That's my new poster. <laughs> you guys see that poster? Pretty sure it said sax bang. No beers for us. Try to dance to it. Oh lord. That's so good. Nuggies are a food group? They are. They absolutely are. You are correct. Still can't do anything here, so. Grab the nasty hair. This isn't going to turn out to secretly be some extremely useful piece of equipment or anything. It's literally just a clot of slime and old hair in a filthy dorm room sink. Grab it. I know a useful item when I see one. stop at. Now I'm doubting my entire existence. Oh, the, the posters are just weird. They're just weird. I feel like it's duping me. Just randomly... No? Definitely didn't make it as far as I thought we did. I got a lot of cash, so I'm happy. They 
we'll go back one day if we really need to. Um, we needed the arsenic, and we got that, so we can go back to chemicals. Samara called. She wants her hair back. She's gonna have to fight me for it. Uh, yeah, I, I guess Kerpow. The plunger, buddy, really? You know, without Molly doing her shooting, there's been a lot of times when we were fighting in that house where things were literally one away from death where Molly should have done the shooting. Splatter. Everybody gets a splatter. I guess I'm not entirely sure how I freeze gas, but. The chemical cheese was odd. I can't wait for, uh, Julie, I can't wait for you to see the poster that I'm going to put uh, in, in my house when we get home. Um, okay. Let's make something. And I'm cheating, so we need three. One. Three, two. Keep it. My LeBron's Reviver, Reviver, Pfizer? Reviver, Pfizer. There we go. Oh my god. You splash the Revivifizer on the statue, and gradually the metallic bronze color turns into more regular flesh tones. Oh, and some clothes. Clothes tones. Oh, goodness me! Is it Monday already? It's Thursday, sir. Thursday, 1928. Well, damn it all! I knew I, sh I should have left, uh, set an alarm. Something weird happened to our asses. Ah, do forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Dr. Ambrof Adams. I know, I read it on the plaque. Plaque? He steps down off the plinth and, plinth and looks at it. Marvelous! How very kind of them. My name is Leroy Jenkins. Ah, pleasure indeed. 1928, you say? That would make it, hmm, 205 years. So much for the faculty luncheon. Uh... Did you bronze yourself deliberately? Uh, yes, quite so. My new formula required, uh, testing, you see. And I, uh, as I had no plans of particular import for the weekend, I thought perhaps I would skip ahead a bit. A graduate student was instructed to awaken me. If he comes asking for a letter of recommendation, I shall have to... I will, shall have some rather stern words for him. He's, he's probably dead. Of course, well then, I shall call that his just dessert. Welcome to the future. Thank you, yes indeed. I find myself rather excited for the prospects, you know. Has anything good been invented? Um, they're working on something called television. Apparently it's like moving pictures, except You'll have to, you'll have, you'll have one in your home. Well, I must say that sounds ridiculous. Who ever heard of a moving picture? Oh, wow. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> I suppose I'm in need of a guide. Might I impose to accompany you? Sure. <gasps> Man, guys, this is a hard choice. Do I keep Molly? with her Tommy gun, or do I take the 200-year-old professor? What? Uh, I've got a chemical assignment that's giving me some trouble. Are you familiar with old alchemy symbols? Ha! Huh, young man is a feline acquainted with its own anus. <laughs> hey, Molly, mind waiting for me at the spittoon? Okay, Buck, uh, but it's hard to keep a girl Big waiting. Titty. Big titty. <laughs> She's a stick woman! She doesn't have any titties! Uh, well, we weren't really given a choice, so I think we have to keep him for now. Professor Adams. 
Um, but we'll go get Molly back after we finish our chemicals assignment. A strandelli, strandellini, multi amblic, am, am, alembic, alembic. Are there still in? Are these still in use in modern times? I would have thought the technology would be much more advanced by now. Uh, the class I'm taking is pretty introductory. The professor said he was starting with the basics. Ah, I see. Well, that is quite reasonable. What seems to be the trouble? The last hopper's empty and I don't know what's supposed to go in there. Uh, the book doesn't list the, that symbol. Does it not? How embarrassing. Pray, allow me to correct it. He pulls out a quill pen. Oh, and a small ink pot out of his pockets and starts writing in the book. Should you be doing that? Why not? It's my book after all. Still in good condition, I'm pleased to see. That is the advantage of a proper vellum page over paper, of course. And my colleagues made fun of me for being old fashioned. Well, I don't see their shoddy paper books in this classroom. It's true, they aren't here. There you are, duly corrected. Thanks, nice. What is it? Lithium, professor. Where can I get some lithium? Um, Miro seems to be having issues reading his dialogue. God, that was even that was really hard to read. That was a challenge. Um, lithium, hmm, that is tricky for the getting. Uh, but you, to knowing, Professor Gilbert, did to hearing about a soda company that's putting lithium in sodas was the year previous. Lithium to making you thirsty. A feedback loop of very profit. Oh, of course. Uh, unfortunately, lithium also you very confused to making, and your bowels either none at all or way too much. The business they to going out of. Rats. Okay. Oh my god. Old relaxa cola. Relaxa your bowels. Alright, let's go. Let's go to relaxa cola. Uh, where was that? Was that in Ocean City? Yeah, Soda Factory. I knew there was something over there. Fight him. Whatever it is, fight him. Don't care not reading it. I'm gonna fight him. Oh, they are severely underpowered. A shadow bonk. Not a spooky bonk. Can't unclench? Relax, a cola is for you. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, uh, I'm quick work of this. Probably shouldn't have bothered. Oh well. stop. Hmm. No way to sneak in. The place is pretty abandoned, all right. All that's left is a metal storage cabinet and a few crates of empty soda bottles. Not even bottle caps left. Fooey. No bottle caps. Any lithium, though? Ah, pff. Open it magically. Duh. Lithium! We did it. Nice. Cool. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go bus stop. Crystal Dream Lake. No, not Crystal Dream Lake. That's not where we want to go. We're going to want to go to school. We gotta go to school. Not sure about lithium, but yield tonics had everything from cocaine to opium to radioactive materials, and I believe it. Absolutely. All right. Drop in the bag of lithium now. Four. Oops, don't flush it. Keep it. Chrome polish! Here you go, professor! 
Oh, Professor Gilbert will be judge of that. Takes a rag uh, and a sample of chromed metal out of the desk drawer and tests the polish on it. Yes, yes, very good polish. Well to doing. Thanks. You have to passing this class with colorful flight. Professor Gilbert will be signing a transcript of yours and gladness. Oh, oh, I graduated. Sweet. Guess I did it. Oh, where'd he go? Can I still make stuff? I can. Interesting. Wow! Did it, guys. We graduated. <laughs> Thanks for the anime wow. -er. Um. Now what? Yeah, I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go back to Hilbert House. I kinda just wanna see this guy's potential. I wanna see what he could possibly pull off. Free to a good home, Eldritch Mist. Too spooky. Okay, let's, let's just go up a few floors. Nine should be good enough. I wanna see, I wanna see what this man can do. I do coke so I can work longer, so I can earn more, so I can do more coke. Holy shit! Well. That, uh, did not go according to plan. I have to go down a few times, I think. We're not gonna make it out of this alive, boys. I don't think even Molly could help us here. But uh, that man did take a big L, so. No, I'm done for. It's up to you, Turt. It's all I need. Turt! No! <laughs> Turt! That was absolutely brutal. Let's go down a few. Jesus. Deethanar! Welcome! How's it going? Hello, hello. Turt said, nope. Turt said, not today. Pangolian blue. You got it. As soon as I figure out where that uh, where that cult is. Oh my god. We might be in trouble again. Uh, do we want nine damage, eight damage, 15 plus five, 13. Uh-oh. We got a Barco. Oh fuck, that was the wrong one. Okay, all right, so he will poison the ooze for six or heal me for seven. Mm. He's immune to poison, that was stupid. We need Molly back. We, uh, we're in trouble. Yep, there we went. Okay. Turt! It says, screw this, guys. I'm going home. Um, uh, well, we could poison the spider. And die. Alright, I've tried to make it. We're getting some good status effects out of this, I guess. Um, okay, well. We're gonna go Doshin City. Um, oh, 
call the mob back. Greasy Steve has the details. Molly, please. Let's take care of business. He doesn't even dance. Pouring a cocktail back and forth between two glasses. Yeah, that tracks. Fancy Dan. I found this case of absinthe. I found this case of simple syrup. Wow, look at all the fancy drinks. Bones <laughs> too brittle to dance. Absolutely, I guess, if he's fucking a thousand bajillion years old, right? All right, so now we gotta go back to Greasy Steve. Have a french fry. They have fries here? I don't see those on the menu. I bring my own from home. I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> What's the job? Boss need, has decided we need to send a message to Congressman Chutney. You familiar? Sure. A message is, an, is in, when information is conveyed from one person to another. I met with the congressman. Oh, never met him. His son Chadley is a student here. Lives in one of the frat houses, Zeta Omega Omicron. <laughs> Okay. Um, you're gonna make young Chad sleep with the fishes. Whoa, whoa, I didn't sign up for... Okay, well, I didn't sign up for this either. We have to literally make him take a nap with fish. That's disgusting. Uh, look, all you gotta do is get into the kid's room. Uh, it's a lead pipe cinch. I don't know what that means, but okay. Missed my streams this week. Oh, it's only been this one and the one yesterday, so no worries at all. All right, we got Zeta, Omega, Omicron. What the fuck? This is about what I would expect. What is going on here? Oh, we got a sausage. Oh, that was nice of him. Uh, <laughs> what you doing? Queuing. What? It's a cute way to say barbecue, and here, try one of these bad boys. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a special plant-based sausage I'm working on. Is it any good? I didn't call it a good boy just now. I figure I need another, I don't know, 80 or 90 years to get it real right. I see. Well, thanks all the same, I guess. Don't mention it. So, you like to cue? Um, pointless secrecy or exaggerate pointless secrecy? Always. Uh, well here, have one of these Cuban forks. I got like 10 of them. Uh, once you find out you're really into Cuban, you start getting them every birthday and crimbo. Gosh, thanks. Sleep with the fishes? That's Miro's dream, right? Yes, yeah, that's it. Uh, full on shape of water. <laughs> Wait, what is the weapon I'm using now? Mr. Kelly plus four cold, or I can do four hot now. Hmm. What's wrong with this kid? What's wrong, buddy? He's freezing. Uh, I, I was hanging out with some of the weird f f f rat and I well, left my jacket at the b b bar. I'm freezing. I guess there is some kind of a natural, there is a kind of a natural chill in the air. I'm real, real susceptible to changes in the narrative atmosphere. <laughs> if you're headed in the direction of Lambiota Theta, can you stop and grab my jacket for me? It's soft and comforting. Sure, no problem. Hell yeah. What is this cat doing? This cat is either, is writhing around in a pile of catnip, either in agony, agony or ecstasy. New cat unlocked. We got Sprig. Sprig does plus one to muscle. I'm gonna keep my current boon. But you do you, Sprig. Shrub man? Uh, what's this shrub you're working on? It's a new strain of super aloe. Oh, interesting. Now that you mention it, the leaves do look like aloe vera, except they're whiter. That's right, I'm trying to find the best balance between increased phytochemical production and concentration. How's that working out? Oh. Hmm. 
pretty well. Now, I've given up on crossbreeding it with Toxodendron radicans. Uh, here, have some ointment samples. Sweet, thanks. Ah, lamb diet of theta. I heard that place is lit. It's perfect. I'm more disappointed that we met a guy barbecuing and still didn't manage to find any barbecue sauce. Uh, I'm more into Q Qin than Qin. No, that's a lie. Keeping the barbecue over the line any day. Yeah, right. Plans really happen. Oh, he's busy. How do they ever get into their house? Land Iota Theta. Mailbox is made of foreign stone, which means it's not a federal crime to steal mail from it. Let's steal it then. Fuck yeah. Uh, these frat guys are super into geology. The entire frat uh, house is carved from a single huge block of stone. Really nice craftsmanship, too. It must have taken forever to go inside. I didn't even find a rock this large, though. Look for the guy's jacket. We got it. You find uh, it draped over one of the bar stools. It was a tricky s to spot because it's the exact same color as the shape as the, of the stool. Good. Five muscle to look under the couch cushions. Cause it's stone. Hat rock. Not a hat rack, a hat rock. Fridge maybe? Or an armor? Open it. Doesn't open, it's solid stone. Hmm. Mystery continues. Oh Lord. This is incredible. Not only did this fraternity chisel a whole frat house out of stone and carve furniture to match, they even went so far as to sculpt a bunch of frat boy statues. Presumably the, they store them up here and haul them downstairs to fill up space for parties. There's also some kind of weird stone thing. It looks a bit like a new, new one of those newfangled televisions you've read about, except triangular. Somebody's science project, maybe? Oh no, these boys got fucked up. These boys got straight fucked. Stone hat! Stone frat cap. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I hope we can help them somehow in the future. The council's going to strip you! Oh no, was your math off? Oh shit. Should we just go back and tell that guy that, that uh, everyone's dead? Like his entire frat is dead. Nope. Aw, look at how happy he is. I really feel like we ought to tell him. Back to our original, uh, what we were doing. Alright, it's a raucous party! Oh, fuck yeah. What are these dance moves? Bob just brought me cookies. Bless Bob's. Personally, I feel like this guy's rocking is the best. My turn now. Perfect. Yes! Sax bang! I have no idea what this means. But I love it. It really just feels like me, you know? This is the poster, Drilly. If you're still here. Sax bang. I just dropped my cookie on my shirt. Is she a potato? Is she Swiss cheese? Nobody knows. Not 
not the vampires. Let me hypnotize them. Hmm, it actually worked. Alright, now that I stole a frat armchair. some baklava wrapped in a balaclava. Now we have baklava and a balaclava. Incredible. Got some grit off the couch. Love to see it. Tell you what this music is, honestly, but it's a bop. Oh, we got a drum of vermouth. Oh, that can go to the bar. Nice. Oh. Huh. Oh, we can make a lot of shit. Sure. Do one of these. Ooh. Battery and fuse. We must have to fix this fuse box. Oh, we gotta go down in the manhole. A brown loaf cod. Oh, shadow rope. Lasso and confound an enemy. Nice, alright. What the fuck? A fishman church, guys. Oh, I hate it. Fishmen are acting kind of strange. Well, stranger than usual. Well, as far as you can tell, given your limited experiences with fishman behaviors, maybe it has something to do with their weird altar over there. Let's fucking fight them. My computer is lagging hardcore right now for some reason. It's not good. <laughs> Fishman facing the wrong way. All done with your nugs. Oh man, what is going on? You know, my computer was doing this a bit earlier today too. I'm not sure what its problem is. Has anybody else had issues with Windows 11 in any way? I keep having really bizarre issues. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to take down that thing. It can't handle your arousal from the fish people. Yeah, mm hmm My computer is also aroused. Here, how'd you know? Man, I did my best. Rip Molly. Hot spider in a cold triangle. You haven't moved to Windows 11 yet. Ah, well, let me tell you, it's a fun time. I said with complete sarcasm. Hold on, I'm making a note to myself. Okay. 
Um. Oh fuck! I can't even find my mouse. Yeah, turn go. Wow! Look at him go. He really did it. Oh my god! Just die already. Triangle from hell. Oops. The profane altar left over from some especially evil having rituals, presumably. Looks like there's something in front, in front, in font of it. I mean, in the font in front of it. Let's try trying to read that. Let's grab them. Fishman rope. How many do we have now? I think we needed five pounds. It must be a pound per pile. Shit, we only have two. Have you seen Triangle of Sadness? I don't believe so. What? The fuse box has been stuffed full of celery. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach inside. Shadow salad. Maybe if I just keep eating it, I'll just turn into a shadow creature. Stuck with sh uh, pudding. This guy is still dancing in spite of obvious nausea. Freck guy just doing a little queuing indoors, asking how it's going. Is it uh, safe to queue indoors like that? I mean, it's not my house, so whatever. Uh, fair enough. Can't really get the taste I'm looking for, though. Say, can I get you to do me a favor? Sure, what you need? Got a buddy over at Phi Upsilon Thou. His birds are always, always come out super good. Don't you guys love a good bird? <laughs> some kind of special wood chips or something. Can you go over there and get some for me? Gotta stay here and watch the queue. All right. Easy. Next door we go. I'm having to try to not use my mouse because it just will not behave right now. Buddy. Um, the guy at Zeta um, Omega Omicron sent me over here to get some kind of special wood chips. Ah, sure, I know what you mean. Uh, what he wants is mesquite. Just save a little bark off the mesquite tree over there. Thanks. Shave some chips off. Berg, is he talking about steamed hams? No, that's... That's something different, I think. <laughs> steamed hams? Go, buddy. Um, thanks, bro. Those are probably gonna make it real smoky in here, though. Ha! You, that's how you know it's a party. Oh, okay. Sit kids uh, dance to a different beat. They sure do. Next time, hang on the knob of the store and you refuse to find out what that means. Solid point. What is happening here? Uh-oh. From the grunting and shouting, there's either a brawl or a sporting event taking place in the room. Probably both. Let's fucking... Let's go. What's going on in here? I'm just gonna keep my mouse over this button and never touch it. Oh my god. You did not. We're a wee- we're a wee bit fucked. Um... Thirteen left. I don't think there's anything we can do. Oh, maybe. Rusty Cola. Sure, why not? 
don't think we'll survive if we keep up in stats. And I gotta get this one too. I don't understand the reference. Er, I've never seen The Simpsons. I take that back. I've seen The Simpsons movie, and that was literally it. I was like future. Off the wall. Oh. oh, we can just. Oh, okay. That's just another grind hole. Fraternity's communal wardrobe. Wire coat hanger. Hmm, okay. We got sloppy cooking for huge groups. Gross. What the fuck? What kind of book? Gotta love sloppy cooking. Oh, I, I whiffed. Fondue deluge. Light up random foes for a total of five on fire. Interesting. How many books do I have? Are there any books that I couldn't read before that I can now? Oof, duh. That's, uh, that's steep. Oh, yeah, that's right. I choose not to be cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Um, I actually have a lot of XP. Let's see if... Hey, Jara, welcome! Happy lurking. Glad you could make it, though. I mean, I guess this one. I don't know what constantly damage means. The gold-plated door has a sign on it that says C. Chutney. It seems reasonable to assume that the C stands for Chadley. You sneak into Chad's room and dump the rotting fish out on his bed. After tonight's inevitable rager, he'll stagger back to his room and pass out without even noticing it. The perfect crime. Bada bing, bada boom. We did the crime going on here sub alert not sounding now what the fuck what is going on um hmm this one I don't actually know how to fix. Hmm. That's a bit of a different issue. But Jora, thank you for the resub. Happy 49 months. I, I could try to... Oh, yeah. There, look at that. You got a custom one, even. <laughs> thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. I don't know what's going on. All my sounds are broken. Uh, oops. Uh, you must be a chemical student, right? Uh, good guess, but nope. I'm basically a hobo. I've been renting my out my services and this portable still to make ends meet. That still doesn't look very portable. Oh, it's much lighter than you'd expect. I see. Well, it still doesn't look very portable. Uh, you know, there's a big hobo camp near Ocean City. I bet your skills would really be really popular there. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm saving up to buy a new hat first, though. I want to put my best foot forward, you know? I seriously don't think they'd mind. I know, but it's for my own self-confidence. I wouldn't expect a woman who owns her own still to have issues with self-confidence. Oh, I don't drink the stuff. Uh, you could use it to degrease de -grease industrial machinery. How much do you need for a hat? Um, 87 meat. I'll cover you. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, it's no problem. Thanks so much. Uh, come see me at the camp later and I'll pay you back. Bye. Interesting. Didn't expect to find a homeless person here. Air, knowing that subs are broken, you still did it? Thank you for giving a sub to Dirt. Dirt, welcome to Miro's Superheroes. I do hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, your emotes, your sub barrel. 
and uh, yeah, stench armor, right? Nope, we need five stench armor. Hmm. This one is stench armor. I'm collecting data. They're all broken. Uh, this is either a special toilet for a really tall guy named Art or a toilet hung by a genius. Oh my god. Oh, that's awful. That's so stupid. If you guys don't know about the toilet, the toilet art, you just don't even understand my plight. Fucking toilet art. Alright, I think we're going to the frat house. I'm gonna change my outfit back. Um. And as far as accessories go, go back to putting that on. I think we're wearing the wrong pants too. It's a special standing barf toilet. God, in a frat house, you're probably right. Um, okay, let's go to the hobo camp quick. If I can get my mouse to cooperate. Nope. That's not the hobo camp. Fuck. <laughs> oh. We might have to we might have to call it quits, guys. I cannot control this mouse. I'm moving with such little finesse, trust me. It's everywhere. This is awful. I'm not a telephone, old man. All right, where is this chick? Why does the doctor look more cracked out than usual? Oh, of course she's in the grub car, duh. Hello again, nice hat. Thanks, thanks for helping me before. I didn't even get your name. I'm Canadula Crabtree. I'm Leroy Jenkins. Uh, I'm afraid I can't pay you back yet. We don't really have anything to make decent booze out of. At the moment, I'm just using random kitchen scraps and weeds and I can't serve you that in good conscience uh, or good ethics. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, what about hobo code? Fuck yeah. Uh, some say booze related gifs are the most useful ones. Thanks. That's literally all I came for. <laughs> Um, I need to clean up my notes, I think. A letter opener. Oh, we did 10. Oh, no, we didn't. I do that every time. Um, okay, we did 14. And we did... Seven. He won't let me just hit enter. Um, bless bogs, always important. Um, I'm just gonna keep call Dawn back on there because every time we do something, we have to call Dawn back. Actually, we should probably be calling Dawn right now. Um, Search the restricted area of the SITS libraries next. Okay. Let's actually, let's go back to, oops, shit. Clicked out of the game. I can't control her. Where? Where was I just about to go? Oh, fish and chips because that's where, oh, fuck. That's where the guy is. Um, I'm gonna hypnotize him back. Get fucked, vampire. Come here, moving the mouse like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, how'd it go, kid? You got news for me? Yeah, some kid's bed is full of fish. Uh, it was a lead pipe cinch, like you said. Still don't know what that means, though. Nobody does. That's what makes it a great turn of phrase. Anyway, nice job, kid. Uh, now Congressman Chutney will know who he's really, really dealing with. Yeah, uh, you sure will. And we got the meats. 600, damn, these guys pay out. Maybe now we can afford a hot dog. <laughs> I 
Let's just spice the cactus up. Okay, I'm gonna look for some fucking... Hold on. Shadows over loathing barbecue. South. Oh. Okay. That is not what I remember. Uh, no, thank you. No, 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 thank you. In the barbecue wing, the water fountain spews barbecue sauce. Perfect. Never would have figured that out. Well, uh, binging with Babish, get on that barbecue sauce. Binging with Babish. That sounds familiar, but I cannot remember what it is. I don't think I've ever seen it, though. Here you go, Floyd. One serving of barbecue sauce. Wow, holy cow, thank you. He takes a big sniff of the sauce. Aw, sweet and smoky, just like Dad used to make. Well, just like the machines at Dad's factory used to make, Dad's job was just to make sure the rats didn't unionize. Uh, well, okay, sure. Enjoy that. Alright, I feel better about that. Um, what else? Side quests. Um, oh yeah, the eggs. And the cheese. I don't know how to help the rat with the cheese problem. You can't just buy cheese. I think that's the pretentious cooking YouTube thingy. YouTuber um, got big making meals and shows from TV movies and said, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I've probably seen like a couple then, just like here and there. Do you guys remember the guys that used to do epic meal time where they would make like, I just remember their absolutely absurd Thanksgiving one where it was like a pig stuffed with a duck stuffed with a chicken stuffed with a turkey stuffed with a quail stuffed with a, another duck bacon flip bacon flip yeah which is bacon bacon everywhere god the amount of calories and then we sewed it shut yeah oh god gross um okay i don't know what we're doing is there cheese at oven shop maybe I want to know what this other building is that is, like, empty right now. This one right here. I want to know what that is. Who's going to tell me? What are you selling? Do you have cheese? Delicious oyster. Okay, so that's not it. I cannot with this mouse. The Turducken Deluxe. Fuck yeah. Um. Eh. Struggle's real. Let's go to the library. Uh, I passed my classes, see? You hand Ted your transcript and he inspects it carefully. After a moment, he nods, hands you back the transcript and gestures uh, to the door with a thumb. Thanks, Ted. I don't remember what we wanted in here. What the fuck is going on down here? An old man chanting something in a language you can't understand, apparently conducting some kind of dark ritual, which, uh, rather, with a rather important looking book, which, you'll have already noticed, is generating some kind of ominous dark portal. What the fuck, old man? I mean, all we can do is interrupt him, so. Uh, what What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, it's, uh, I'm just looking for a certain book and I'm frankly amazed if it isn't the one you've got on the pedestal there. And you think I'm just gonna give it to you? Get out of here. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Should I? I've only been enrolled here for an afternoon. I'm Dean Wernwood, and if you don't leave immediately, I'll expel you. I've already graduated. 
I mean out of this dimension. Uh oh. What are you actually doing? Didn't I just tell you not to interrupt me? Yeah, but you're already interrupted now, so you might as well tell me, right? Oh yes, certainly. I'll just reveal my entire plan to some random grad student or whoever you are. That would certainly be to my advantage. Would it? Uh, oh, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> A stellar observation, full marks. Now get out of here before I put you on double secret probation. Uh, geez, you don't have to get so sore about it. I'm gonna criticize his magic circle. Get fucked. You know, I'm pretty sure you got your focusing diagram wrong. Oh yes, and what do you know about it, hmm? Well, I know the square goes there and the hexagon goes there. You've got them switched. What, but? Oh, oh, I get it. You used an old compass. West is north now. You have to flip it across the diagonal, see? What? But that doesn't... that doesn't make any. As he uh, frantically scans his handiwork, you casually put your arm on his shoulder and give him a straight arm shove towards the portal. He stumbles and screeches in pain and terror and is sucked in, the, in with a whoosh. Oopsie. Uh, like a mouse caught in a shop vac, then the portal vanishes with a quiet pop. Whoopsie daisy. Well, that is not how I expected to go about that. Sorry, Dean. I feel kind of bad. What's that? There's a magic book back here. Uh, check it out as in examine it or borrow it. Uh, both. Li Librum umbrum malum ovila. Book radiates menace. The spine is as dry and cracked as the spine of a spooky skeleton. The binding reminds you of a skeleton bound to a dungeon wall. Uh, with rusty manacles. The picture of a skeleton on the cover is also invocative of something scary, but you can't quite place what it is. It's a fucking skeleton, boys. There's also some hobo back here. Some hobo? Some hobo text. Yeah. Psychology, psychography of panhandling. Oh, uh, plus drop meats as a perk. Let's get that. Let's get that going. Let's read that baby up. Hell yeah. Study the book until you've memorized a bunch of techniques for getting people to relinquish additional meat. You drop the book on one of the pseudonym book return shoots as if it could be of some use to the next prospective hobo. Nice. Let's read this one too. Why not? Oh. Hmm. Okay. That's probably the book that I needed to pick up, right? This is unmistakably the book you're looking for. Oh wait, this is just a copy of the student handbook. There's nothing unusual about it. Well, shoot. Uh, that cursed book has got to be around here somewhere, though. Oh, okay. Well, we found it. Man, that's a good one. Okay, I'm just gonna... zippity doo -dah on out of here. Uh, I got that book, uh, and possibly also a bachelor's degree in chemicals. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> wow, sounds like a busy day. It's a fair assessment. I'm going to bed now. Sleep tight. Don't forget to uncurse the book. We've had trouble pinpointing the next artifact, but we should have it sorted out by morning. Oh, we gotta call Don back. He wants us... Greasy Steve. Got it. We're gonna go see Greasy Steve. Itavero! You offer the grim Latin tome over to the machine. Your head tingles as the machine thrums and vibrates, and human vows undulate in your ear. Dark words form at the tip of your tongue. A cacophony of languages reverberate and resound as and pow suddenly dissipate. The curse is severed from the book. Uh, all that nasty Latin has been wiped away, revealing an uncorrupted beauty beneath. 101 delicious mutton recipes. The book's curse now lives in the machine. I don't think uh, you can project your consciousness into it. Think again, pal. I'ma fucking do it. What's going on here? Hi, look, Grim Hills. Hales. Not often is Latin spoke on our soils without bloodshed. It augurs well for our future. Henricus offers us much power. 
Ja. The tribes who ally with the Empire are greatly rewarded, but I can name no tribe who would be as powerful as you, Grimhild, uh, if you are good to that man. Pride not. Don't speak of marriage at this time. Ah, why scold me? Would it not go well for our future and yours? A secure peace for all? With much power to you and benefits? Would you not like to have fine silks, Grimhild, and spices and fine creams? Farewell. Hails, Aggie. Spit on the son of Rome, Grimhild. Um. Uh. Frap jaw. It's a great question, Jora. It's a great question that I cannot answer. I, barbarian, hails. I stand before you in the name of Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar Divus, uh, Dominus of the land. The Im Imperator's birthday is next Mercury's day. It is a big birthday. You will be 40. Sign the birthday card, Barbarian, and the Empire shall look favorably upon your tribe. I will sign the card. I will sign the card for your king. Ahaha, ha, ha. Imperator Grimhold, please. And he is your Imperator, too. Uh, so you say. What will you write to your imperator? In Latin, please. Remember your lessons. Um. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is not only the perfect Latin phrase, but this is the perfect Latin phrase to put on a birthday card. Are you guys ready? Um, I think I spelled that right. I R R U M A T. Yeah. <laughs> it means uh, death fucks us all. <laughs> it's so good. It's a perfect birthday line. Hugh, why can't the barbarians teach their children Latin? I guess I have to beat the shit out of him instead. Because that was actually perfect Latin, so. Guess I'll threaten him. Uh, I don't respond to threats. Respond to me or you die. I missed a what? Oh my god, this sound's not working. Makes me so sad. Three meat! <laughs> Uh, donation! Thank you for the three meat. That's funny. That's really funny. That's assuming that the conversion rate is three dollars to, to, like, one dollar to one meat. Right? I don't know. There could be, there could be a different, uh, conversion rate going on. Memento Mori on his birthday card? Oh, that would've been good, too. Probably would've chosen Mira de Morte, but whatever. That's also a good one. Um, he really doesn't, he, none of this is going to work, is it? Hmm, okay. I will not tell you this. What if we do that? I do not know Latin. That's not going to get it. Um, do we have to come up with something specific for the birthday card? Do you know any Latin, Aggie? No. Okay. Do you know any Latin? Um... If only I did, I would die happy in the biblic Biblothicus of Rome. Biblothicus? Biblothicus? In the walls of those magnificent libraries of empire is all the knowledge of man. It is not possible, all knowledge, but it is. The reach of the empire is wider even than our wildest imagination. 
Grim held. If you sign the card and walk by his side, uh, I think you'll finally see this. I could try signing my name. actually want happy birthday in latin hold on oh wait charles is that actually it okay hold on i don't even have to google it um nice why that is a wonderful sentiment flawlessly composed i confess i survived grimhild i'm surprised thanks charles nice that's what Google Translate gave me. Hell yeah, Google. Way to go. I did not think even my teaching had carried you so far. I am surprised as well. How did I know that? It matters not. Go forth, beautiful one, and grace the powerful pages of that card with your tribute. Between you and I, I expect much power in return. Nice. Punch the card into the sky. I'll write the message. Penis! Sentiment equally e equaled in elegance only by your penmanship, Grimald. It was right. Uh, we will make a proper lady of you yet. Now what? Now? Why, nothing, Grimhild. Simply sit back and luxuriate in the power that comes from being a friend of Rome. When will it start? It already started. Don't you feel it? It is well, then. Goodbye. I should have punched the car into the sky. What? Oh, no. It didn't work. All right, hold on. Project. Let's try this again. Punch it into the sky! Oh, look at that. It became a star constellation. <laughs> uh oh. A little bit more than a constellation. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so we did have to punch it. Uh, the curse that once lodged within the forbidden and nasty text has been unwritten and undone. And you find a fascinating final chapter you did not notice before. 111 mutton recipes. Wow, I'm so excited to cook something. How exciting. Okay. I almost forgot, before he left on an errand, Charles asked me, oh, oh, we have to pick a third store. All right, we got Texas Instrument, a guy from Texas selling musical instruments. Ye old chi miker, some uh, sit science lady who wants to sell potions. Uh, and the last applicant is advanced pants. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with pants. It doesn't say what they're planning on selling, but I have to assume that it's pants. I'll go with pants. You know, I never actually looked- oh shit. I never actually looked at the new store that we got last time. Hi, Le Hi I'm Leroy. Is this your store? That's right, Bellamy's Jardware. <laughs> Welcome to the Jardware store. Just wondering, uh, did you open a hardware store just because of the rhyme? Yep, that's pretty much the entire reason. What's for sale? What do we got? I will take that. I will take that. I will take these. Take all of these. Um, Anarchist hardware. Yeah, I'll take that. And I will take a comfy hat lining. All the stuff. Do you want to know why Miro chose the pant applicant? I would like to know why I chose it. Please enlighten me. Why did I do it? Um. My strongest potions will kill you, traveler. You can't handle my strongest potions. Oh, you better no! go to a seller that sells weaker potions. I passed on a potion seller. You're totally right, Pauls. I wonder how many more stores we get. Do we, what do we, we have one, two, two more spaces. Oh, I forgot I did that. Really fucked up that store and we still didn't get in there. Air, thank you for the sound biddies. I cannot handle the strongest potions. 
I'm disappointed in myself. I was just really excited to get new clothes because we don't, there's like not really a clothes seller anywhere. Cool, well this is the perfect place to stop. Um, uh, hopefully my computer cooperates and we can do some demos on Sunday. Um, the lineup, hold on, let me just exit out of this in case this is what's killing my computer right now. Um, the lineup is, uh, fuck. <laughs> we might never know because I can't control my mouse. Where did I, where did I put all the games? Oh, there they are. Um, so Shadows of Doubt, which Amprop suggested. The Last Case of Benedict Fox, which Air suggested. Sherlock Holmes, uh, and The Awakened, uh, which is a remake. And then Scene Investigations, which is a crime scene investigation thing. Uh, I think all of them sound just dandy. And I can't wait to try them all out on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys there. And, uh, yeah, it's a killer, a killer line. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, thank you to everyone who did sound biddies and rad redeems. I'm so sorry alerts were so broken today. Um, my computer's in a desperate need of a restart, apparently. Um, thank you to Donation as well for the three meat. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, Air, for gifting a sub to Turt. Turt, welcome to the Mirror Superheroes. Jora, thank you for the resub. Happy 49 months. Welcome back to the superheroes. It was lovely to see you again. Um, and I think that's it for today. It's probably an update. I got one today. Oh, maybe it's downloading an update. Yeah, that would probably do it, huh? Well, I'm going to take care of that. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you Sunday, Sunday, Sunday for some demos. Until then, guys, have a good night. Bye.